Hello everybody, welcome back to the Madden 21 QB Career Mode Episode 33, where we will sim two weeks, uh, the week five and week six. We will play the Vikings today. Uh, for the one time we'll play them this year, we decided to play them in their first game. We'll play the Bears and Packers in the second, but we are 4-0 right now um, as we beat the Giants in the last one. But it hasn't been anything special. We're first in passing yards, 11th in touchdowns, but 18th in rating. We've thrown a lot of picks. Carryon Johnson's actually second in the NFL in rushing yards. Uh, we've thrown six touchdowns and four picks. But our running game is once again dominant. Carryon's got eight touchdowns compared to Swift's two. Um, our leading receiver right now is actually TJ Hawkinson, who has 329 yards, but we're really spreading the ball out well. Uh, four receivers. Uh, all playing pretty well with an average of 44, 51, 57, and 82.3. Galladay, I'd like to get more involved, um, but we'll just have to see. In terms of league stats, uh, I believe we have the two, like, two top five rushers right now, which seems to be pretty normal sometimes for us, but we do lead by nearly 90 by 90 yards right now in passing and in rushing we have the number two in carry on and the number four in swift uh, carry on leads by a long shot in touchdowns next is a rookie demar cumberland receiving wise justin jefferson leads that second is tj hawkinson um but in touchdowns at least we do have kenny galladay up there tied for second so this Hot Lions team will go into a week five against the Bears. Hopefully going to win. Start your week by installing your game plan. And help a player upgrade his dev trade. You no, know, should we play the Bears early? I think we're gonna play the Bears today. Get carry on four touchdowns or 200 plus rushing or receiving. That's tough. Um, most likely not going to happen, but I think we're going to play the Bears today. They're 2-2. Two two. Let's keep this undefeated streak going. We'll play the Packers late, later in the year. Um, then we have, we'll play one of the Vikings games in 7 or 9. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we'll play the Bears game today. Both teams are 81 overall. That doesn't mean much, as we know. Um, I'd like to see their, what are their color rushes like? Uh, yeah, those are cool. And then we'll wear our normal home jerseys. Okay, so we're going to try to get 5-0 today. This is a really strong defense uh, who covers decent, but their pass rush is crazy with Khalil Mack. We do have Rod Ross at least. But we want to feed our guys, so we need to get the ball into Galladay's hands. Hawkinson's been great this year. Uh, and I like David Moore a lot. He didn't have a great game last time out, but establish a run game. Uh, cut down on turnovers and we'll be fine so let's go so 33 Bears start off with the ball and turn it over or punt it to us fairly quick this is a more common thing we like to do and that is run a jet sweep to open a game so that's where we're going Galladay out to the outside and has a little bit of room he's gonna have a first down about 13 yards for Kenny Galladay and I forgot to switch uh, the backs. Carry on needs 200 yards in total. We're not going to change our game plan at all to get him that. We're going to uh, do the same thing we do every game. But we'll give it to him here. Outside, Johnson has a corner, and it will get about 16 on that carry. So a good start for carry on. And we will go with a mesh play right here. We get it to David Moore, who has one for about 10. They brought pressure. We'll bring Swift in. Oh, not not in this look. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
We'll get it to Hawkinson just for about one. I didn't like what I saw. Last week he had five for 106. He definitely played well. And I meant to throw away earlier. If you saw, I pump faked. Third and nine. All right, so we have. And we get it to Hawkinson really quick, but I don't think it's going to be close to enough. We'll kick with Carlson. It's close. Got to. Got to get full power. It's going to be really close. And he got it. Daniel Carlson from 52. Let's go. So we do get on the boards first. But the Chicago Bears come back with a touchdown. So we have some figuring out to do. I think we got a hold. Either that or a face mask. Nope, it's a hold. So we'll have a first and 19. Going with the deep cross. And we go outside. Marvin Jones, what a grab. And a first down for the Lions, 22 yards. A very good play. Marvin Jones beats him to the outside. Jukes one, and we'll get back inside. So he is off to a good start today. I'd like to get Swift involved. He hasn't touched the ball yet. His fantasy owners are probably pissed. And he gets tackled pretty quick. So one rush for one yard for Swift. And on second and nine, they bring that guy down. So we'll run it up the middle. Uh, probably should have hit a hole earlier, but we'll get about four. Mesh is a good play here. Works, works often. We get it. David Moore has it for about six yards and a first down. That's all we needed. So Hawkinson and Galladay are two lead receivers. Not much going as Swift breaks through the middle for about 14, and we are near the red zone. A good hole there. And we go in zone. David Moore, touchdown. And the Lions take the lead. They give it back to us. Good drive there. Great comeback drive. We will take that. Quick throw to Swift. Gets to the outside and his former teammate Roquan Smith tackles him. George Boys. We'll bring the counter in into play right before the end of the quarter and he's got some room but we've got a flag looks like this one's coming back I probably need to lower the holding slider and it happens way too often it was our tight end DJ Hawkinson who did it we're gonna rock with the boot we get it to Marvin Jones good catch for about 12 we don't have the best throw in the run, but this one works fine. So on second and eight. And we're hit while throwing, picked off. And that happens way too often. 
Kyle Fuller picks that one off, and I might need to turn down some audio here. We give it back to the Bears, and they take advantage and tie it up. So let's clean things up here. Up the middle, Swift first down. Go flood here. First and ten. Underneath, Marvin Jones to the outside, pushing for the first. Eh, he's about a yard short. And on second and short, we love to take a shot downfield. We will go to David Moore. Probably could have just ran it for more. There's a lot of open real estate. And Swift pushes for about six. So we're working the ball down the field well. We'll go play action again. We've done it a lot this game. And once again, it is David Moore who gets rocked at the 30, but he holds on. He's got five for 57 here in the first half. Once again, they are really pushing, uh, defending that first down run. We'll go underneath Marvin Jones for about five. And it's been Marvin and David Moore today. No catches for Galladay. And only one for one for Hawkinson. We'll get three more with carry on. It's a third and two. Go back to Swift, who is always good for a couple yards. He pushes. Roquan hits him hard, but he did not get it. And we pull him in motion. We're going to go for this. They're in man. Up the middle. Swift has it. And he's got some more. He's down to around the 14. Seven yard run. So 3.30 left. And this mid draw, if they can hold their blocks, is going to be really good. Up the middle. Carry on Johnson in the end zone for 14 yard touchdown. And the Lions are back out in front. His ninth TD of the season. And we will take a lead here. And with 51 seconds, we're going to try to get down the field relatively fast. Oh, well, they're so clearly in man. But that's a good block. We'll cut it back in. And we'll call timeout after that 11-yard game. Screens can get a lot of yardage, but sometimes they're risky. But we got a good block there. Hawkinson has it. He's got the size mismatch, and we'll call our second. So we have one more, and we're at about the 50. We might pull out the Quintez Cephas special. Not here, we're not. And we try to throw across our body. Not our wisest decision, uh, but incomplete. We'll go for Galladay. And he comes down with it! A 51-yard bomb! And Kenny Galladay who has had an extremely quiet first half, comes down with it. And we take a two-touchdown lead. We just had to keep it away from the safety. Safety got there, but just not in time. We'll have it first to start the second half, too. Really good first half for this Lions offense. We go to carry on for about three here. I do not believe he's going to get his goal. 
seven now from the 28. It's a pickup of three. Go stick here. Switch up the formation. He'll look to throw. That's tipped. Oh. There's that glitch. I've seen it on uh, different YouTubes. It's not a glitch. It just needs to be fixed. Third and seven. Facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Up high for Hawkinson. He will not hold, pull it down. That was just kind of a last resort. They covered Galladay, who was my main guy. Maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Edwards punts. And he's tackled pretty quick. So they have 73 yards to go for a touchdown, and they will punt it back to us. I'd rather run to this side. And we run it up the middle. Probably should have taken it outside. Two yards. We'll bring Swift back in. Outside, DeAndre Swift straight up the middle on a great juke move. He's to the 36. And when they are in Bears territory, we could run a streak here and possibly get more. We go carry on instead. I thought they, they deed up on Moore pretty well. So we just dumped it off to carry on. Still got four. We'll give it to him here. Carry on Johnson. Good juke to get at least three. They bring a man down. Galladay is trying to beat him. Oh, why'd he move? About a pick from Khalil Mack, but no. We'll bring out Carlson from 46. Boots it, and it is good. So it's 27-10, Lions. And we still have a pretty commanding lead. They hold him again. So we'll bring it back out. Up the middle with carry on for about five. Go to the play action slide. Across the middle, it is David Moore. Who else? To the 36. He's got 74 yards and a touchdown. He continues to play well today. Carry on Johnson gets a block. He's going to the outside. Touchdown, Lions. A 36-yard touchdown. And carry on Johnson remains on fire when it comes to touchdowns. Oh, if he could have just held that block a couple more seconds. That on the third. And with a lead like this, we'll go to the sub. No need to chew clock yet. We're only up two scores. We need to go score at least. Bring out Swift for their next run. He's got some room. And he has about 15. So DeAndre Swift. With a good run. Need to bring carry on back out. And he's not going to get much. Only two. Two touchdowns for carry on on the day. On the 87 yards. He's got a couple receiving. He's going to get stuffed again. So we've got a third and six. I like the slot fade. 
Just one for five to this point. This will be third and six. And we get it to Moore. Perfect throw. That's what we like to see. David Moore, another big game. Who else? And that is going to be cut short. Kind of like this. We'll go carry on for the quick yardage. He'll have about five. So we've got a third and four, or third and five. Carrion's got 19 in terms of receiving. What a throw to Galladay. Just over Roquan's head. And we're down to the 10. Kenny Galladay, two catches for 71 yards today. Up the middle, carry on Johnson. Jukes one, and he's in the end zone for his third touchdown of the day. He's just a machine at this point. There is no stopping him. And our best bet of getting his superstar, Dev, is definitely... The touchdowns that we're already on the 25 here. Not gonna force it. Cut back. Oh, we cut back a little too far. So Quinn could get to him. So we'll bring carry on back in. He has about five. He's got 105 on the ground. Hawkinson, first down. Well defended. Everywhere but there. Up the middle, carry on. There it is. He's got four on the day. Why not? 40th career rushing touchdown and his fourth on the day. A monstrous day for carry on Johnson. And once again, he is way out in front of everybody else for rushing touchdowns on the season. So we did get him. That, uh... We got him what he needed. Cut it back. We're only going to get one. Two-minute warning hits. We're up 48-23. They practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them. Trying to keep them from locking down a game. Bringing Hawkinson now, over. Now. And not a place to go. Khalil Mack wrestles him down. So we lose a good amount of yards there. Keep it in swift sands here. And we only get five nickels, good tackle. So we'll punt this one back. We'll just give it to him with time to go. It doesn't matter. Oh, we lay him out. <laughs> All right, so... They will stall, and we get another victory. We are 5-0, and ladies and gentlemen. There's not much stopping us as of right now. So, does that mean carry on Johnson is now an X-Factor? I don't know what it means, but... He played very well today. Max Stevens for them was pretty good. 
Um, but we had a higher QBR, apparently, even though we threw that pick. Carry on Johnson. Well, first Swift, 13 for 75, no touchdowns. Pretty good day for him. Uh, Galladay ran one for 13. And then carry on, 15 for 114 and four touchdowns. Receiving wise, how about Riley Ridley, the former Georgia player? But Allen Robinson with a huge day. David Moore was our main guy to go to today. Seven for 94 and a touchdown. Galladay only caught the ball twice. But when he did, he was pretty lethal. Two for 71 and a touchdown. Had that 51-yard bomb. Marvin Jones, pretty good day. Hawkinson, four for 33. Carry on added on 19 in the receiving game. And Swift had 12. We put up 48 today. Crazy numbers for the Lions as we route the Bears and proceed to 5-0 and on the season. Now we need to read up on carry on's thing. I think we're going to be level 14. I don't know what that does. I don't really play any of uh, their stuff. We did get taken out again. Let's check what we got for carry on. So, um, carry on Johnson. Big players make big plays, and man, no one's bigger than me. This offense is going to be good for a long time with me running the show. Carry on Johnson is now a superstar X Factor. And he got 20,000 XP. Holy cow, we got to check. Yeah, I bet he's a 92 now. We can go and sim this week, too. Check the standings, Start see if anybody's close to us. Your game plan. Grab more XP. Read this Harrison Smith message. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we just gotta beat him. We are 5-0, and the Packers are 4-2, Vikings 3-2, and, and the Bears 2-4. and four. So we'll play the Vikings in week 7, but then we'll skip them in week 9. Um, actually, we'll probably play them week nine. That's a home game, and it's a, a night game. So we'll play them at home in week nine. Can't, holy cow. He's a 94 now. Morale's boosting him one, though. But still, what did he get for his ability? Freight trains are relentless runners who refuse to go down on first contact. When they enter the zone, this ability increases their chance to break tackles. The next tackle. Play it, and then he has players with this ability have a chance to replenish their stamina once per play when it is half to play. Ball carriers with this ability have more powerful stiff arm animations. We don't stiff arm really. But he is now a 94 overall, overall really a 93. He's got 96 break tackle. He's not the fastest, but he's got good acceleration. 95 trucking right now. Good change of direction, great carrying. Carry on Johnson is possibly one of the best backs in the league right now. What a game. Uh, we will, I'll see y'all in the next one. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. I'm out.